Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is paralysis, you know. Uh, you know paralysis is a loss of uh, muscle function uh, in part of your body, you know. And it can be localized or it can be generalized, it can be partial, it can be complete and temporary or permanent, you know. And the paralysis can affect any part of your body at any time in your life, you know. And uh, you can experience it uh, at any age group, you know. And if you experience it, you probably won't feel pain in the affected areas, you know. And uh, your treatment plan and the outlook will depend on the underlying cause of your paralysis as well as your symptoms, you know. And the uh, uh, technological uh, like innovations and the therapeutic uh, interventions may help uh, to maintain your independence and uh, improve the quality of life, you know. But the symptoms of the paralysis are usually easy to identify and if you experience paralysis, you will lose feeling in specific or the widespread area of your body, you know. And uh, sometimes a tingling or the numbing sensation can occur before uh, total paralysis sets in, you know. <clears throat> and uh, uh, it will also make it difficult or impossible for you to control the muscles uh, in the affected body parts, you know. Uh, doctors can classify the paralysis in uh, different ways, uh, like location or uh, maybe severity, uh, duration, uh, like uh, flaccid or uh, spastic, you know. Now, in case of uh, like uh, when we are talking about the location, you know, so localized paralysis affects only one part of your body, such as face or hand or legs, you know. And in case of the generalized uh, paralysis, you know, uh, is a group of conditions that can affect the multiple body parts. And the types include like uh, uh, monoplegia, you know, or hemiplegia, or paraplegia, or uh, quadriplegia, you know. So in case of the monoplegia, it affects only one arm or leg, you know and hemiplegia which affects uh, one arm and one leg on the same side of the body like right or left you know right arm and right leg or right arm uh, left arm and left leg you know and uh, in case of paraplegia it, it affects both of your legs you know and uh, quadriplegia or the tetraplegia it affects both of your arms and both of your legs you know so these are the different types of uh, uh, paralysis you know and uh, Next thing is about the severity of the condition, you know. If you have the partial paralysis, you will have like some control over the muscles and the affected body parts, you know. And if you have the complete paralysis, you will have no control over the muscles in the affected areas, you know. And uh, the duration is like, uh, it can be temporary. For example, the Bell's palsy is a condition that can cause the temporary paralysis of your face, you know. And the strokes can also temporarily paralyze one side of your body. And uh, with the time and with the treatment, you know, you may regain some or all of your feeling and coordination, you know. And in other cases, that it may be permanent, you know. And the next one is flaccid or spastic, you know. Well, uh, the flaccid paralysis cause your muscles to <coughs> shrink and... Uh, uh, become like uh, flabby, you know, and uh, it results in the muscle weakness. And in the case of the spastic paralysis, it involves the tight and the hard muscle, you know? and it can cause your muscles to twitch uncontrollably or have spasms. You know? The next thing is about the causes, you know. Well, some people are born with uh, they are born paralyzed, you know. And others develop paralysis due to an accident or any other medical condition. Uh, and stroke is the leading cause of paralysis. And it's responsible for nearly 30% of the cases, you know. And the spinal cord injury counts for 23%. And the multiple sclerosis uh, causes an estimate 17% of cases. You know? So these are the multiple causes, you know. And uh, other causes may include like... Uh, uh, cerebral palsy, maybe post-polio syndrome or maybe traumatic brain injury, you know, 
and birth defects and, uh, and neurofibromatosis, uh, you know. And now the diagnosis is often easy and especially when you, your loss of muscle function is obvious, you know. And for internal body parts where the paralysis is more difficult to identify, your doctor may use the imaging tests like X-rays or CD scan or MRI scans and other imaging studies, you know. And if you experience the spinal cord injury, and they may use like uh, myelography to assess your condition, you know. And uh, in this procedure, you will, uh, your doctor will uh, insert a special dye into the nerve in your spinal cord. You know. So you will have, uh, this will help them to see like uh, the nerves more clearly on the X-rays. And your doctor may also perform an uh, electro myography uh, in which uh, your doctor will use the sensors to measure the electrical activity of your muscles, you know. So, uh, and the nerve conduction studies as well, you know, and nerve physiology studies, you know. So these are the tests your doctor will use to diagnose them, their voices, you know. Uh, and the treatment plan will depend on the underlying cause and uh, as well as the symptoms, the examples like uh, surgery or maybe possible amputation, you know. Uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and uh, mobility aids such as wheelchairs or braces or uh, mobile scooters, etc., you know, and medications such as the Botox or the muscle relaxants, you know. So they help uh, to reduce the spasm, you know. And in many cases, uh, paralysis is not curable, but your healthcare team can recommend a uh, number of treatments, you know, to as a treatment plan and to, to uh, uh, make the quality of life better, you know. Uh, the many people with the paralysis will never gain the mobility or the sensation in the affected areas of their bodies, you know. So, but even if your paralysis is not curable, your child, uh, your that healthcare team uh, will recommend certain treatments, you know, like and therapeutic interventions or the strategies to make your quality of life better. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.